Okay, this one is for my friends who use Easy Links. Had a question, how do I install the Easy Links plugin? Uh, what I'm gonna show you is, because there's two versions of the Easy Links plugin when you're using Microsoft 365, you can actually deploy the online version to everybody in your office, so that way they just have to log in and use it. For the desktop version, you have to physically install it on each computer that you want. Um, and Easy Links has a PDF that I'll put a link below this video on how to install it. Um, the main difference that I use between the two versions is the online version is nice because it's connected everywhere, but there's a couple things that it does not do that the desktop does. The desktop version will allow you uh, if you are using shared email boxes inside of the Microsoft 365 ecosystem, the desktop version will allow you to save and connect the emails in the shared box to your client's record. The online version, some reason, cannot handle that piece. So we still use the desktop version for that. Plus, the other benefit is when you send an email, and this goes back to the shared mailboxes also, um, because in our situation, we send emails from the shared email boxes, like our support email. We all respond to support requests with the support email. That way, when the client responds, it comes back to the shared box. The desktop version will catch that and automatically say, do you want to save this to the client record? The online version doesn't connect there. So I still prefer, even though it's a pain in the butt and it crashes all the time and causes Outlook to be super slow, I still prefer the desktop version uh, over the online version, but it's nice to have the online version available for you to be able to use anywhere. So keep that in mind. We use the desktop version for the one-off stuff. We use the online version for the backup. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to deploy the online version across your uh, entire ecosystem so all of your staff has access to it. Uh, so the first thing you need to do as an admin is to log into your portal with Microsoft 365. So once you get logged in, then you need to click on the uh, nine box up here top left corner and go to your admin section. So we're going to click here and I am on a hotspot because of the rolling blackout, so this is really slow right now, I apologize. Um, once that um, refreshes, you'll be in the admin section, and over on the left-hand side, you want to click on the settings, And to do that, you may have to click show all because it may be hidden from you. Um, then click settings right here, and we're going to expand this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to integrated apps. And then once that pulls up, over here on the uh, right-hand side is where we can install applications that will be de deployed to your entire organization. So all you have to do is click Get Apps right here. And there's a boatload of other applications um, that you can install. Uh, just in this situation, we're going to install just the um, Easy Links version. OK, and it finally loaded. So we're going to click up here in the search bar, and we're just going to type in Easy Links, maybe. Less is more, so just simply Easy Links, and then you'll notice that it pulls up the Outlook, Easy Links for Outlook. So all you have to do is click Get It Now and give permission for them to load this on. Your typical standard, use it. And then here is where you can say just me or my entire organization. Is this a test deployment? If you're creating your own app, I would recommend doing tests. But in this situation, Easy Links already has it pushed out. So I'm going to click entire organization and then click next. And then we're going to give it permission, add these capabilities, click next. Nothing you got to do on that screen. Um, and then here is just the confirmation that you do want to deploy it entire organization, click finish deployment, and then it's going to go through the process 
and it's going to say in progress here. And then after completion, uh, it will say completed. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And this is going to take, um, it, it'll, it'll take a little bit. It should be available fairly quickly, but due to some of the um, usage recently, sometimes it's taken an hour or so for things to, to show up in everybody's stuff. Um, and so then once it gets installed, um, you will be able to go to your online version. Um, so here's my online version of Outlook. And you'll notice that online, here is the EasyLinks plugin should populate right here. Um, so you'll just have to log in, but then it'll pull open your EasyLinks um, plugin to the side. You can push the push pin to save it there. You just have to log in and you can save it as usual. And then also pull my desktop version over here. And once it installs online, then it should sync over the online version to your desktop. And you'll notice that it will show up right here. So you also have um, the ability to open up. And if you click on that, you got the same push pin. You can keep it there. And it will load the online version here. Um, but you'll also notice that I have the desktop version installed over here. So you can technically have both of them on all your computers. Um, but here's where you find the online version and then for the desktop version once you install it a lot of times it hides under this add-ins tab um, you can come over here and find your settings um, so here's where you can set your settings for the desktop version you know you can set up login cache settings so if you're having any problems um, come set up your settings here uh, one of the things here is clear cache this helps you clean things out and let the desktop plug in work a little bit better make sure you hit apply once you do um, but here's where you do this piece of the um, the puzzle and then like I said when you uh, when you go to your home home tab the online version should automatically populate there so you can run both versions we use both versions depending on the situation but for the most part we use the desktop version because it still has functionality the online version does not um, hoping they get there soon, but um, I'm not in control of that and they don't listen to me. So um, use it for how you want, but that's how you plug in and use both of them. Hopefully that helps and let me know if you got additional questions.